Let's have a little fun here, and in doing so, we're going to show you a few tools that you can use to enhance uh, a photo and or photos. In this case, we're going to open up two photos. We're going to move one of the objects into another photo. Let's start off by going to File, Open, and I'm going to open up two photos, Biker and Big Waves. So all I'm doing here is hit the Shift key and say Open. All right, now you notice that there are two photos open big waves and biker you can also go to the photo bin to see the same thing in other words biker and big waves all right so here's the first thing i'm going to do i want to take this motorcycle rider and put him into the waves picture so the first thing we're going to do here is do a selection of the bike rider okay so we're going here to the quick selection tool and we'll do all sample all auto enhance which is fine and we'll move the brush size up just a little bit uh, and you can see what the what the size of the brush is here but before we do that let's go to the background layer and do a control j now the background layer is no longer we don't want that visible. We can always go back to, to look at the original if we want to. Now we're on layer. We're, we're now on enhance, and what we want to do is to do the add button. And we're going to select now remember when you're making selections that it's a little tougher than you think. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to do it correctly. In this case, uh, we don't have to be terribly close uh, because we're going to reduce this bike rider quite a bit when we're working in the waves. You see as I'm going along, I'm selecting the bike. Here we go. Also, I want to make sure all the tires and everything and inside that as well. Bringing this down to about here. And let's let's we just over selected right here. So I'm just going to go back to edit and, and undo a quick selection right there. Okay. It's the same thing as doing a, a control Z. Now I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit make this larger. See where I haven't got this so here I I need to select I'm hitting the space bar to move this thing around to see where I haven't selected you can see the areas here so all I'm doing is I'm selecting where I might have missed looks pretty good now this is an area that we don't want and this little area here is what we don't want so I'm going to do a subtract which means sub subtract from the selection this area right here and this area right here. There we go. All right. And maybe just a little bit of this. All of the selections and deselections. We now very easily now, all we have to do in this case is go to edit, copy. Now, let's go to the photo bin, open up this, and now we have the biker in this. Now, you can see how large he is. So what we're going to do here is we're on layer one and we have the biker. So we're going to transform him, and we're going to do that by hitting a control T. It will now allow me to do lots of things here. Intent is eventually to put him right in here somewhere. Right there. Motorcycle is going through here. And so far that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to say maybe if I wanted to, I can turn him around. You see how I see how it turns him around? So I could make it even sharper, this sharper turn for him right there. Good. And say okay. Now I'm going to go back to the background. And I'm going to do a hit a control J, which says now I'm just working on the background copy. 
right this here so I can close this for a little bit and what I want to do is to enhance it by doing uh, adjusting it to be a little bit sharper as you can see here as I move this you're going to see the sharpness here so you can move that down to this is what it looked like before sharpening and as I move it up you see how it's sharpened here and all we have to do here is to say okay good now don't ask me but why this area here is not the same as that all right so what I'm going to do is to use the clone stamp tool and this area right here looks like the rest of this so I'm going to clone it I'm starting hit the alt key and now as I I'm going well let's let's figure out the, the appropriate angle here okay there so I'm cloning this area I'm taking from this area and putting it in here there we go you can see what's happening I'm just cloning there and as a matter of fact, if I want to clone it so that it comes from up here, I could do that. But instead, I'm going to do it from here. And I'm coming around. That's the best I can do it for the moment. I mean, we, we could take a lot of time to do it. But for the moment, that's what we're doing. Okay. Now, what I want to do with this picture is make this area look a little angrier. In other words, I want to make it darker so that... The biker is coming out. I'm going to hit a control Z there because I made a mistake. Now what I'm going to do is to use the burn tool. This is the burn tool. All the burn tool does is to make pixels darker. Watch what happens here. You see what's happening to the dark? Okay. There we go. So I'm just making this darker, a little angrier. Okay, every time, notice the exposure right here. If I had it at 100%, look how dark it would be. All right, okay, that's not what I want. I want to make sure that every time I come down, it comes down a little darker and darker and darker but not so dark that it makes it black so I'm, I'm doing the exposure way down to here down in here so every time that I make it dark key down okay all right so all that stuff that I just done you can you can undo all right and you can do it this way. You can go Control Z and keep going until it all. There we go. So now I'm back to midtones, and I'm just going to make it darker. I'm doing the same thing as I did before. All right. Okay, and I can make this a little bit darker. All right. Okay. Now, also, what I want to do here is to make this a little angrier. In this case if I if I want to change that I can also do the same thing that I did before I can go and darken all right and there we go so let's darken this a bit okay there we go so now we're darkening okay good now let's see what our biker looks like okay coming through here obviously it's supposed to be a joke but right, it's just to show you what you can do um, I'm now working on layer one right here 
But before that, I'm going to go to the background copy. And I'm going to use the clone tool right here. And I'm going to select this area right here. And I'm going to bring, bring it down onto this layer. Believe it or not, what it's doing now is taking some of this material and putting it right here. There we go. And there. Okay. So we can go back to Alt and add that. Okay. We could also do this. We can also do an Alt click here and bring that down in here as if we were getting splashes. See? It? There we go. Boom. There. Okay. We're still at layer one, at layer one here, okay. So we've added this, and and now if I want to, I can save this as a PSD file. Uh, PSD file uh, will in fact allow you to bring this back if you wanted to do anything differently. In other words, if I went back to layer one, okay. Let's show you what's on layer one. Okay, is this. And I want to enhance it by adjust lighting, brightness, and contrast. For example, I could make him brighter, or I can lower and also lower the contrast, or, or raise the contrast, as you can see. Make it brighter, make it lower, and I can adjust the contrast. There we go. And say, okay. So we have now done something differently different with that. So if I save this, I can always go back and work on these two layers. At this point, what I would be doing is to go file, save as, big waves, let's say with biker, and it's going to do a p dot .psd. A dot .psd, so I'll save that. Here we go. I'm also going to, at this point, going to hit Merge Visible. And now I have one photo. It's going to be saved as a JPEG file. So at this, I'll do File, Save As, and this time with Biker. And I'm going to change this to a JPEG. OK. And say Save. So now I have two different photos. Now let's say I bring up this photo in a, in, as a JPEG. Right. Uh, first of all, I can just say File and Close if I wanted to. But it is now a, a JPEG file. I could do this. I could say Filter. In a, filter and I could do a texture and I'm going to go to texturizer all right here's what you could do with with that you can you can add the texturizer to this and you see how how it makes it look almost like like a textured painting and you can save that all right we can also file save as a jpeg with biker relief. Now we're still working on this, and so let's say we do a control Z at this point and go back to what we were doing before, which is just a standard background copy. If we wanted to, we can still do something differently. For example, let's say at this point we've decided, hey, that's a pretty big photo, so let's. And we're going to take that because we want this area of the photo. And let's see how, how far up we can go and still get some drama out of this thing. Crop. And there's your finished product. And then you can save that.